going further for your livestock in a 3 by 4 meters room that is equivalent to 2 acres of napier grass and only in 9 days? Through a technology known as hydroponics, a farmer can be able to grow plants without the use of soil. Here, we focus on growing fodder for livestock through hydroponics. So, how do you go about growing hydroponic fodder? Is it more advantageous than conventional feed? Is it affordable and what are its benefits? In comparison, hydroponic fodder saves you up to 50% on animal feed increases your yields and milk output in dairy cows and it is very affordable. Now let us look at what you need to grow this fodder. 1. Housing. Choose a place for your structure that is convenient for you and measure 3 by 4 meters. This is a standard structure that can feed two dairy cows, 10 pigs or goats, and you can use locally available materials like poles and timber. Ensure you have all the necessary tools to do the construction work. The structure should be strong enough to withstand wind and other forces. The important element to consider is the shelves that have to be inclined slightly to allow water to drain. Please note, the shelves incline in opposite direction. After your skeleton is complete, cover the sides with a shade net. Your completed structure will look something similar to this. Note, the housing structure is used to control the environment in which you will grow your fodder. You will also need clean water aluminium trees, fertilizer solution and seeds. Barley or white sorghum, commonly known as gadam seeds, are best because of their high nutrients and energy. Now that you have all the requirements and your structure is ready, it's time to go to the next stage which is growing your fodder. Step 1 is seed selection. This is very important. Ensure seeds are high quality, free from pests and diseases to avoid poor germination. Remember, quality seeds will produce strong, healthy fodder. Step 2 is cleaning the seeds. Measure the desired quantity. 2 kgs per tray is recommended. Using clean water, Wash the seeds thoroughly, let it settle, remove all floating debris and seeds. Repeat this procedure two to three times until seeds are fully clean. Next step is sterilizing the seeds using locally available domestic bleach or hydrogen peroxide. Measure three milliliters, mix well with the seeds and let it soak for about 30 minutes. This process ensures that seeds are sterilized to remove any infections. After 30 minutes, rinse with clean water to remove the bleach. Next, you will need to soak your seeds for a period of 8 to 12 hours. This helps to end seed dormancy. Mix 2 to 3 parts water to one part seed. Remove and drain water and put them in a sprouting bag for about 48 hours, which is about two days. Finally, your seeds are ready for planting and using thoroughly sterilized aluminum trays, place the seeds in the trays, spread evenly and cover to facilitate faster shoot development. And cover after one or two days. Now keep watering as necessary and always ensure the temperature is between 17 to 20 degrees centigrade. Day 1, your seeds will look like this. Day 2, like this. And in the 6th day, your shoot will look like this. In the ninth day, your fodder will be mature, about 7 inches tall, ready for harvesting. 
In just about nine days, you have ready fodder for your livestock, saving you a lot of work, space, time, and money.